Warning, read and follow all labels in the owner's manual. After you have set up your machine, you can begin using your remote. Start by placing the engine ignition switch in either the run position, auto speed on trailblazer machines, or run idle on big blue machines. This will allow communication between the remote and engine drive. If this switch is placed in the off position, the remote will not be able to control the unit. Next, press the yellow power button for a second to activate the remote. Then press the red engine button and hold it until the message on the remote display instructs you to release. After the engine button is released, the remote display will instruct you to press and hold the engine button again. When the button is pressed, a countdown begins on the display, and when it reaches zero, the display instructs you to release the button. Once the button is released, the machine will begin to beep, indicating the engine starting sequence is in progress. To stop the engine drive once it has been started, press and hold the red engine button for one second, and the display will indicate the machine is shutting down. To set the machine to automatically shut down based on inactivity, first press the menu button and make sure the settings field is highlighted. Then use the enter button to go to the settings menu. Then using the increase and decrease buttons, scroll to engine and press the enter button to select the sub menu. Here you will be able to turn the engine shutdown feature on or off. If the feature is turned on, the machine will shut down automatically after a period of inactivity. You can also select the time period of inactivity between 1 and 60 minutes before the automatic shutdown engages. When this feature is turned on, it will monitor welding and auxiliary output activity and shut the machine down if the unit remains inactive for the user-defined period. You now know how to use your wireless interface control remote to turn your machine on or off.